All right, so um, last reaction. Sorry, my mouth full. I'm just starting to eat. So I decided to watch Mr. Poopo TV's reaction to BAP because all day I was seeing pretty much spam that this was the best thing ever. I knew BAP Batman was going to be the best thing ever happened to K-pop. It's like the K-pop's coming of Christ. So <laughs> I watched my vid and did a reaction and posted a video response on his channel and mine. And um, pretty much... I'm gonna re I'm gonna react to his reaction, and just his reaction, but not to the reaction to the video. Just from like five twenty, five fifty seven on, because already it is hilarious. He's like, mm, 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 mm. Yo, yes, like, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He couldn't yo. even take this, not in the slightest. <laughs> What the fuck is Aaron? Like, 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 I, Popo don't curse in his videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, guys, he don't yo, curse. Uh, Do y'all hear this? It. Since the one shot video that you guys is my ultimate bias for, for boy bands, you know. I believe it. Mine is and, shiny, yo, but. Like, listen, guys, I respect I, the work ethic. I would say I on the rap side, the hustle, BAP I is my the ultimate. That Sorry, you guys Big Bang. Do. You guys, even though you guys do need a vacation, you can't, yo, you can't just be dropping this music video expecting me. And I'm Preach. like, listen, I, I can only imagine how the fangirls feel right We're now. Dead. We're dead. Drunk. We're dead. dead. We're dead. Yo, We're dead. We're dead. I died. dead right now. What the fuck did you do to me? <laughs> but seriously, these girls must be dead. They say, I was oh, dead. Jungle. I was resurrected. Dead. Jungle. They are Jesus. Dead. They hunt. Dead. <laughs> yeah. Yo, dead. Him chan. Dead. Yes. Oh my god. This is exactly Young what Chai. happened. Yeah, I didn't forget you. You killed him too. Um, Young Jay yeah. slayed me in the first I few seconds with his whole. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I probably said yo so many times. Let's get into the lyrics break tail. Oh, oh my god. Boss. That's not what I have to say I, about I'm that. Reading through this not this right one. now. And yo, I got a feeling. Yo, that's tonight's nice, gonna be a good night. Nah, that's not a lyric. No. I got a wrong feeling. song. I can't Don't even play BAP. Give it up. I got a feeling the day you close your eyes, you are in danger. Challenge the wrong oh, guy. Get away because I'm dangerous. I'm a bad man. I will prison you in that, the like, dark. Jesus uh, thing. Uh, 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 okay, all right. I'm just going to keep reading on the lyrics. Now, he is really looking at these lyrics, though, listen, like, guys. This really, song is he's all really about in this. and what is wrong in society. You know, the black-on-black -black crime, it happens a lot. You know, and, you know, this is just a testament to what goes down. And over here, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of things. He's that, a full you know, preacher mood. Wrong. And, you know, that preacher the cops, mood. the images that these guys gave you was the God, like, beyond God. Like, you guys know. This is that, fangirling you know, I, like, at I its talk, finest. I talk about cinematography, we'll get into that. But, like, with, you know, Young Rick's rap, where you throw it all upside down, world that went crazy, I would change that. All people close their eyes. To the, to the money and bullies. Really, can, can Ben Young Young Gook just, news, like, have a concert um, just for, like, the black K-pop fans? <laughs> because I swear to God, like, we, we worship him. Uh, he doesn't know. Are, Maybe uh, he shouldn't one, because he might that, not uh, come out did, alive. Course, Pretty sure. Out. But, you yeah, know, basically that's what's going to happen. We like to eat them. the biggest hypocrite in the entire world. They don't want to put down what's going down that's actually Wait, important. They want to put what's going to give them ratings. You know, like, for instance, everyone that's talking about the whole Trayvon Martin thing, that blew up in the entire world. And I'm not going to give any of my thoughts about Trayvon Martin in this video because that it's over and done with. But just thinking about that, you know, this video itself showed you pretty much what exactly it is to, like, you know, live in oppression. I mean, this is just a small portion of what goes throughout the entire world. But people don't care if you save somebody. Like, they, no, let me rephrase that. People don't care if you save somebody. Like, like you, you, they'll, they'll try to be like, oh, you're a heroic person. But then no, they just sue you because they got injured by you saving them. Who you are and, and, true, you know, true story. Like, these people only want Make sure you check your good Samaritan law before you do anything for anyone. Unless you're a healthcare you provider, then in they, some they, states you're you, obligated. I've never seen so many people in the U.S., that have been, you know, people that have been trapped inside their houses and then they've been saved. But, you know, everyone just focuses on the killing. Like, I, I can't tell you how many times I watch the news. So-and-so was shot dead. 
So and so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he lives killed. in so and so lives like this. So and so Brooklyn or Bronx. I'm in Philly. Saying the exact thing. So he's rambling. You know, I'm gonna end this reaction, down, but pretty much, that's actually going down. he has really good points. And I'm gonna watch the rest of it by myself. I just wanted to do a brief little bit of what he was talking about, cause he was on and he was going in. <laughs> Bye.